So, you want to play basketball professionally, but you're two foot four. Well, you have to order some growth pills in the mail, because it looks like you might be a little bit too tall. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this, what you're seeing on the screen right now. I think this looks really, really cool. Um, I want to kind of break down what I did to uh, to make this. It's super simple. It's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it is not too many things... Uh, going on here so it's just basically all lamps it's literally basically all lamps so just to break things down we have a giant plane in the background here um and then next to this plane where is it at there it is uh is a giant a giant point lamp on a ten thousand brightness and the size is basically seven meters it's 6.83 um just to make it super big so that it's like you know you know soft so it's not like super like that <laughs> um and then the 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 brightness so that it's you know super bright we get that nice bloom at the bottom there um and then the main focus let me just hide the background for a little bit the main focus is this text is the text with the uh with the with the little lamps on it so let's look at, take a look at each of these lamps we have one two three four five no five six of these lamps here um and they're all kind of like you know hanging out um, so each of them has the same exact property. So they're both, they're all on power 19. They have a slight pinkish tint, but you can, you know, make them any color you want. You make them bluish, you can make them, you know, whatever, a very slight pinkish tint. Um, the hex is F eight E A F F on that. The radius is set to point, uh, 11. So there's that. Um, and I just have these in some various spots that I kind of wanted to highlight around uh, the text here. Um, and then we have another, we have two other lamps, which is an, uh, both area lamps. So we have one of them that's kind of pointing downwards at the top of the text. And it's kind of just like lighting the whole text in general, just so it's, you know, get these darker areas in here. Like take a look at this area right here next in, in between the T and the S. Kind of just brightens it up a bit, just brightens the whole thing up uh, slightly as well. Gives a little nice little bloom on that, which we'll, we'll talk about in a second. And then... Super importantly is this last lamp here that it's actually animated so you can see it kind of scrolls across the text there which is really cool. So this is a, an area lamp that I've rotated so that it clips into the text so that this edge right here is sharp as you can see. So that edge is sharp but the other edge is super soft. I just rotated it until it was like that. I can make it this, I can make that side sharp, I can make this side, you know. So I just kind of made that that side, that side sharp so that when it goes to the text it looks like it's like, you know, hard edge and then the, the the trail is kind of soft essentially is what I'm trying to say um, so there you go nice and this is animated so um, this over here I just hover my cursor um, in the in the workspace somewhere and hit I on my keyboard insert in a, a location frame right there moved forward in the timeline until the end hit I location and then just moved over here and then kind of moved it back over here a little bit and hit I location um, super super some stuff now this is the big deal. This is what makes it all very cool. So all of these little lamps, these six point lamps are all animated. They're all animated. Um, and the way I did this was I just, you know, I duplicated each of these. So I just did one of them. So that's, let's say I just, I, I used this one. I did this one, right? So I zoomed in this one, went to the first frame, which is frame zero, because I changed my start frame to zero. Hover my cursor somewhere in the workspace, hit I for location. And then what I did was I put my cursor in the top left-hand side of the screen until it turned into a plus, and then just kind of clicked and dragged this open, and then changed this window right here, hit this little button, change this window to the shader editor, not shader editor, I'm sorry, the graph editor. Um, and what I did was I just opened all this up, and then I looked for the X and the Z location. I did not mess with the Y because I did not want it to go back and forth behind the text because that would make it look weird. So I only messed with the X location and the Z location. So the X, I opened up this little right-hand side panel, went to modifiers, and then I added a modifier of noise, and then I changed from the value. So the scale is on 50, um, and then the strength is on 0.5 for the X value. And then I just changed the phase. So then I just I I kind of I kind of did that for all of these. Uh, I did it for one of them, and then I did the Z location for one of them. The scale on the Z, on the Z location is 50. The strength on the Z location is 0.1. And then the phase is just a random phase. So once I had both of those X and Y keyframes down, um, I went ahead and, and I clicked one, of, clicked this lamp, hit Shift D to duplicate it. Just put it up here, and then hit Shift D over and over again to duplicate them uh, five more times and put them in the, those various locations. Now, to make them all move at different, you know, times, so they're not all moving together, I just changed the phase. So if you look at the phase right here, it says 1,027. If I click this one over here, oh, if I click this one over, all right, uh, all the phases for the X 
are looking the same. That, that is not supposed to be like that. That's a little busted. Okay, they're all supposed to be different. That's not a good example of what I'm trying to show you. There you go. So, um, <laughs> on the, there you go. So, now you can see on the X uh, location right here, right here, yeah, I, was, I was clicking the same one. On the X location for a point 0.4 and point 0.3, so we'll look at these. So, point 0.4 is this one right here, and point 0.3 is this one over here. So, the X location on point 0.3 is 13, 18, and the X location on point Oh, on the points right here, this one right here, 13, 18, and let's go ahead and go down to the Z location. We got 409 on that one, and then the same thing for the rest of uh, for the rest of these. They're all like, oops, they're all different values. Let's grab that one. I don't know. I'm not sure as to why they're all showing as the same value, and you can see that they're like moving at different intervals. Just switch up the uh, the phase a little bit. You can see this one kind of jumping up and down there. You see, going up and down. I'm going to change the phase. There you go. Um, we can change the y value, the x value. Sorry, not the y value, the x value. Yeah, these are not on the, all on the same phase. I'm unsure as to why they're appearing as they're on the same phase. That must that's a strange. I mean, you can see that they're moving in different sides. Like this one's going to the left, and this one's going to the right. Just change the phases. Like I said, that is busted. I don't know why this is uh, not working currently. But um, let's go ahead and uh, and move on. Now you can see we have all that done. Last thing we need to do is go ahead and work on the bloom. So you can see by default, the bloom will be off. All the magic of the scene is completely gone. It's just, it doesn't look as cool. This is what it looks like without Bloom. Now, what I did was I went over to the uh, main tab here, and I checked Bloom on, and boom, instantly, things look a lot more cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the, the values that I chose here. So, the threshold is on uh, 1.548. Um, I didn't change the knee. The radius is on 50. So, normally, you can only go to a specific uh, value size of 10. On the radius but what I did was when it, to go past the slider value just click in here and then just type the number you want to use then hit 50 and you can see the radius gets a lot bigger um, there you go and intensity is the same exact way um, intensity if you want to go if you want to go higher than the default which is 0.1 just go ahead and change the intensity to 2 and there you go now, now you have a nice uh, intense very wide uh, radius uh, nice thing going on there so I think down here with these, I think I want to make these three, um, these three, a little bit more saturated. There we go. The background was looking uh, pretty desaturated for my taste for some reason right now, but I want to go ahead and all three of these are kind of lighting the back scene and making it look a little bigger. So I kind of want to just, you know, yeah, there we go. It looks good. I like that. Nice. So that is basically the scene as we have it. Um, that's basically the whole entire thing. Make sure you also go to the main tab right here, this uh, the, the the output uh, tab, properties tab, and then change the um, frame rate from 29 or whatever the default is to 60. So it gets that nice, silky, smooth, buttery effect instead of looking like uh, this. And look, look at all choppy and stuff. Make sure it's on 60 so it looks nice and smooth. Ooh, gorgeous, delicious, wonderful. Um, you can even go higher frame rates, like 240 or something like that, but... Um, at that point, it gets a little uh, crazy, so I think 60 is great for 2D motion graphics. Uh, but yeah, so hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.